morning. Uh, this is my first day in Zurich, first full day. I arrived last night around 5 p.m. and all I did was go to the hotel, eat and then walk around a bit but it was pretty late and I was tired from a full day of traveling. But today is a pretty nice day, it doesn't seem like it's gonna rain yet and we have quite a full itinerary. We want to get to the old town center, we want to see uh, the National Gallery Museum here and we want to get to the lakeside because it's pretty um, and yeah, there's, there's a lot of things to do around so this is gonna be this is gonna be our day today We're here for about four days and a bit. We came for a concert and that's on Tuesday evening. But until then we have quite a bit of time to visit the city and see all the things that we can around here. Uh, the only thing is it's, it's quite an expensive city and country coming from Eastern Europe. <laughs> it's, it's quite a difference. Um, probably gonna try and keep it under a certain budget because food is really expensive um, and I'll keep track of uh, a few things if you want to get an idea of what to expect when you come here so on the food side of things um, I think most of the time we're gonna eat either from pastry shops or supermarket in the morning because if you want a full meal here <laughs> depending on where you go, but the cheapest option would be around 20 euros per meal. And if you add that up to three full meals a day, times how many times, how many days you want to be here, it, it adds up quite fast. So we're gonna <laughs> try and keep that to a restaurant eating to a minimum. We're gonna try a few things, but uh, we're, we're not too keen on that. It's after lunch time and we want to eat at a Turkish place that we found in the old town center and we had really good food we had cheese pie and a vegetable pizza and now we're going towards the lake at the end of the walkway down the lake 
There's a Chinese garden we're about to visit and the good news is free of charge. recommend visiting the Chinese garden especially at sunset when we caught it and I can't believe we caught it I think it was half an hour before closing it's not enough time it's a small place but it's not enough time we took so many photos so many pretty angles it was, it was beautiful and the colors and everything awesome <laughs> Later on today we want to visit a museum, which is an interesting one because it's uh, not your typical museum, it's called Wow Museum of Illusions. And I really wanted to go because it looked really fun and you're going to see later what I'm talking about. It seems to be a sunny day all day today, so it's going to be perfect for pictures and perfect for walking around a lot because that's what we're going to do. starting to set up the Christmas markets but it's still early so they're not open so right now it's just a tease but I mean it's it's fine we'll see plenty of Christmas markets later on there are so many so if you plan on coming later in December I think you're gonna have a lot of fun <laughs> So we got something from the pastry shop. It's like a hazelnut pastry and something with apple. I'm really excited to see. Right, so we're next to the lakeside now and we saw that there are boat cruises that you can take. And it depends on the time that you want to spend on the boat. But if you want to go for a short drive, which is about an hour and a half, uh, one ticket is about 8 francs approximately and for children is about 4 so it was super super okay so we decided to take uh, the short ride we found the long ride which is about 4 hours uh, it's about 40 francs so it depends on how long do you want to be here but I'm super excited Thank you. 
this is where you can find the best chocolate in the world. Okay, but how much chocolate can one person eat? After a long, long day, we finally made it to the WOW Museum, and this is where the fun begins. So my mom wanted to see Simply Red, which is why we came to Turek. The concert was amazing, the band was incredible and the music was super good. The next day we had our departures and I had the most incredible view over the Alps. So overall the trip was amazing, we saw so many things and I'm really excited that I managed to see Turek. There are so many other places that I want to see in Switzerland, but some other time. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe and more trips coming soon so stay tuned.